Hello, and welcome to the Survival Guide. Today's topic we'll be discussing is love and attraction. What is love? There are many definitions of love. However, I thought the best definition of love is a strong affection towards a person that is derived from kinship or personal ties, which enables attachment, devotion, and or admiration. What are the factors that affect love and attraction? There are four factors. Proximity, physical attractiveness, similarity, and reward. Proximity. A major determinant. The geographical status can limit our opinions Options as the distance between two individuals increase. So something that can be associated with proximity is the mere exposure effect. This occurs when you have an increased exposure between two people, which will ultimately enhance their attraction between each other. Therefore, if you find someone you like attractively, and you want to pursue in a relationship, the best thing to do is to make yourself the most, you want to provide yourself the most exposure between you and that individual. Whether you're headed to the same class, you're at the same meeting, or you see each other on day-to-day -day activities. And that will ultimately increase the attraction because you had an increase in exposure. Physical attractiveness. This appears that it actually matters and it can affect our behavior. It can influence first impressions for both females and males. A heightened attractiveness perceives an individual as happier, healthier, sensitive, successful, and more socially skilled. They are also more likely to provide better first impressions for employers and increase in their successfulness in their jobs. But what is considered attractive? Neither too big nor too small noses, body, and legs are preferred. Another thing is that symmetrical faces are considered more attractive. Similarity. The more similar we are to the individual, the likely it will draw in person in. Similar beliefs, interest, age, race, intelligence will draw people who are similar and it will also at the end provide more content. Reward. If a relationship is rewarding, we will offer more rewards than cost. It will cost less effort to develop the relationship since the relationship is already rewarding. Such rewards are attractiveness, aesthetically and socially rewarding. What are the types of love? Passionate love and companionate love, also known as compassionate love. Passionate love. Passionate love is a heightened state of positive absorption in another individual. This is found at the beginning of a love relationship. It is a very intense feeling of liking and attraction and can be erotic. But this phase is short-lived, typically months to a few years at most, approximately 6 to 30 months at the max. An individual is falling in love, so during this phase, an individual is actually falling in love with their own self. So they fall in love with their own mind rather than what that person truly is. Thus, they love the idea of them rather than who they actually are. This whole passionate phase is caused by a rush of adrenaline 
or epinephrine, which allows the heart to grow fonder. And during this phase, sexual desire is supplemented by an increase in attachment, resulting in passion within the stage. Companionate love, or also compassionate love. This is a long-lasting love, which is reality-based. One knows their spouse's strengths, limitations, a strong feeling of admiration, a strong feeling of affection and attachment. This love takes a long time to develop and becomes deeper and stronger in time. A recipe for companionate love. Equity and self-disclosure. Equity. Both parties have a balance between giving and getting. In self-disclosure, both parties allow themselves to become vulnerable and share their feelings of fear and weakness. In summary of love and attraction, we discussed what is love, the factors that influence attraction. We discussed the two types of love, passionate love and companionate love. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you, it helped you and have a great day.